your Doppler 10 weather forecast with meteorologist Tom Harris. And we did see a mixture of sunshine and clouds across the area. A few isolated showers out there. Still can't rule that out uh, until the sun goes down. Our weather bug camera is over there in Kingsville. It's still pretty warm. 93 degrees. Our winds are out of the east southeast at 13 miles per hour. Other temperatures 95 Beeville Rockport coming in at 91 90 at the Naval Air Station. You factor in the humidity feels like 104 for us. 100 six in Robstown, 102 in Alice, but we still have that gentle breeze coming in from the east about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Most of the activity across parts of the upper Texas coast, but you can see a few of the showers that rolled across parts of Goliad also into the Refurio area. A few isolated showers popping up near Orange Grove. Now as we move throughout the next couple of days, it's going to be pretty similar isolated showers, hot and humid. We've got this area of low pressure here and that is going to produce some pretty heavy rain again up in this part of the Lone Star State as well as into Louisiana for us. It's just going to shoot a little bit of that moisture down here so we can't rule out that stray shower activity. But as far as accumulations as we head through the middle part of the work week, uh, most areas will see less than a quarter of an inch of rain. But here's the focal point. We've got another just uh, tropical wave sitting out near uh, this this is Cuba, the Bahamas, South Florida, and this is going to move into the Gulf tomorrow. A couple of things could happen as this develops. As it gets into the warmer waters, we've got about a 20% chance that it's going to develop into a tropical depression. And if that happens, we'll kind of have to watch the track of it. But if it stays just a tropical wave, it's going to take that moisture and could produce some pretty heavy rain across much of the Texas coastline. But if it becomes a little more organized, and then moves into, uh, say, to the northeast of us. That would put us on the hot and dry side of it. So we're going to have to watch this storm very closely as the week progresses. Right now it's 80 in Houston, 79 in Marfa. Amarillo has a current temperature of 91 degrees. Still very hot out west. We are seeing the clash of the cool air and the very warm air across the northern tier states. But uh, we'll kind of zoom on in here. We're seeing the showers and thunderstorms across the lower Mississippi Valley. And then here's the line of thunderstorms that likely going to produce some severe weather as we head into the overnight hours. Here's a look at our forecast though for tonight. Partly cloudy and mild. We'll see an overnight low right around 76 degrees tomorrow is again Again, going to be a lot like today, mostly sunny, isolated showers, expected daytime high right around 94 degrees. Now the seven day forecast does get tricky. We're going to have the isolated showers next couple of days, but whatever happens in the Gulf right now, we are putting the potential for some pretty heavy rain and that's the heaviest rain will likely be Friday into Saturday and that should give us a little cooler temperatures. We'll have some lingering moisture chance of showers again through Sunday, but uh, this is the area and the time frame when that tropical wave uh, comes in. So you'll just want to pay attention to that forecast the next several days and we'll keep you updated uh, right here. Drew.